This is half of a Conway Stewart blank sent to me by Andy Cohen. And uh, Conway Stewart went out of business, but they were a, a, a UK blank supplier. It's a gorgeous blank. It's maybe about a half inch diameter. Uh, it's it's going to be really tight to fit on a Sierra kit, but it's just too darn gorgeous to put on uh, on a slimline. So I've brought it over to my lathe, and normally I, I prepare blanks uh, off camera and then just start turning. But this will be kind of interesting. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and use a collet chuck, and then I've got a, a center bit here. And we're going to start out with a small hole and step up and see if we can't get this um, drilled out to 27 64ths so that I can get a tube glued in there and, and turn this uh, into a gorgeous Sierra pin. Let's see what happens. I'm going to start out with this, which is a 13 64ths bit, and I'm just going to step up until I get to the 27 64ths. I've worked my way up to my 27 64 inch bit and I'm just going to take my time and just go right down the center of this blank and hopefully we get a nice clean hole. Oh yeah, perfect. Absolutely perfect. This is going to make a gorgeous pin. I'm going to glue it up off camera. There's nothing really fancy to see there. And when I come back, we will uh, have this blank trimmed up and ready to turn into one incredible pen. Got my blank glued up. You can see I got a little bit of glue on the ends, but that won't hurt anything. That'll turn right away. Uh, I love just the way it does that, just the shimmer in this thing. It's beautiful. And there's a little bit of cardboard there where it actually stuck to uh, the piece of cardboard that I laid it on for the glue to dry. But let's go ahead now and let's uh, turn this into a gorgeous pen. This blank is just absolutely gorgeous. I stopped, I don't know if you can see my bushings or not, but can you see how they kind of taper right here and right here? They're extremely worn. So I stopped just shy of, of uh, going all the way down to the bushings. And I'm gonna sand this blank with, uh, with my uh, Penn State uh, pin finishing pads. I have a tendency to call them micro mesh pads and a couple of people have called me on that recently so I'm gonna try really hard to use the proper name I do have micro mesh pads uh, I just have not broke a package open and probably won't until I completely use up this set of uh, pin finishing pads I am excited about this blank let me get set up to do a little bit of uh, wet sanding I often get asked the question how fast do you turn how fast do you polish and how fast do you finish I like to turn wide open so my lathe is running 3000 rpms when i'm turning right now with the uh, pin finishing pads i've got the lathe down around 900 rpms i usually will do this step somewhere between 900 and 1100 rpms uh, you know just it, it's just kind of a feel and for finishing when i get down to the very end and i want to put um, some ca glue on a blank or polish it up i will usually drop the lathe down to around five, 600 RPMs. 
when I get ready to buff with my buffing wheels, I take the lathe back up to about 1100 RPMs. So that's kind of that's kind of the regiment that I use. I think if you asked 10 different turners, you probably would get 10 different answers. But uh, in my shop, that's generally the rule that I follow. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the camera off and I'm gonna finish uh, running through these these uh, pin finishing pads and I'll come back and show you what this looks like before I before I do any buffing. I just finished up with the polishing pads and I want you to take a look at this blank just how gorgeous it is and how it reflects the light. It's, it's stunning. I cannot wait to run this across the buffer and see what the final blank looks like. I've got the lathe spinning just shy of 1200 RPMs. I've got a little bit of blue rouge here. I've been told that this blue rouge is about 300 grit. Uh, I don't know for sure, but that's what other turners who are far more familiar with this than I am have told me. I just like to take the blank and lay it on the wheel and I slowly rotate it. Now many times when you see me doing this process, you're seeing it in double speed or quadruple speed. So you don't really get a feel for how long I spend uh, at the buffing wheel. But I try to spend a good amount of time. You can see the blank. You can watch the transformation uh, of the blank from kind of dull right after it came off the sanding pads to a real brilliant shine. And I just like to just continually rotate it. And many times I'll change direction of the blank so that I'm uh, hitting it, the, the, the uh, flannel wheel is hitting it from a different angle. And I think that kind of helps uh, remove any fine scratches. Even though I sand it to 12,000 with the sanding pads and the rouge is only about 300, it still does a fantastic job of putting an unbelievable shine on this blank. It looks incredible. Now we just take it over to the buffing wheel. This will buff off any of the residue and just kind of polish it up to a nice, a nice luster. And you can see I've spent a good amount of time on the wheels. I have spent longer. Uh, it's just kind of up to you how long you think you really need to spend uh, at the wheel. But take a look at that blank. I mean, it's just absolutely incredible. Let's get over to the bench and get this pressed into a pin kit. I'm going to be using a gold and gunmetal Sierra kit today. So let's just get our cap clip assembly. We'll get it on the blank. Just get a little pressure on here to hold this so that I can start adjusting it. There we go. I want to make sure that I press it straight in. There we are, that's nice. Oh, beautiful, beautiful up to the camera you can see I've got a great fit right there at the cap I'm really happy with that okay let's go ahead and assemble the front section we'll take the clip I'm sorry we'll take the spring and put it onto the refill well, actually there's a little rubber ball on the tip of the refill get that off first there we are we'll slide the spring and the refill into the nib I'm gonna thread on our transmission get it good and tight couple of test turns looks good let's go ahead and press this together and that is absolutely gorgeous that's just beautiful I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed turning this pin for you I think it turned out absolutely stunning the pin is just gorgeous that blank is incredible it looks great on the gunmetal and gold kit the Sierras, as always, have incredibly smooth action. Take a Parker refill, so if you run out of ink, it's real easy to uh, get one and replace it. I'd like to thank you guys for joining me in the shop today. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon, and have a great evening.